A mask, a mat, an alpha. Three terms that are used confusingly rather interchangeably. So what is the difference between them? Well, here we have an example of all three. A mask is the easiest to cover. We have that shape there. It's just a PSD file. And I'm using it to darken uh, the street to provide a shadow. I can just demonstrate here. Uh, there we go. So I can darken it and lighten it according to that shape. And uh, and I'm I'm if we look at the multiply, you will see that it's mask by RGB green. So the PSD file you file that you'll notice it's got a just an RG and B channel hasn't got an alpha and I'm using the green channel from that document to provide the mask if I use the default which is alpha it gives me a little error message okay so I go to green and all it is doing is just masking that effect if I remove that mask then it becomes uh, unmasked. Now a mat and an alpha. What have we got here? We've got, let's go back over to that point there. Okay now this, this file, this ball here, you'll notice that it has an RGB and an A and if we press A in the viewer, you'll see it's alpha. You'll also notice that in the RGB, this area here is black. That's a pretty good signifier that the image has been pre-multiplied. So we've got the two things that require we require of a, a layered composite top file, the foreground. It's got an alpha and that alpha is pre-multiplying the background. Now we call that, we call that a matted image. It's got a mat, okay. Now if we go over to here, that has, that is an RGB file. It is neither pre-multiplied nor has it got an alpha. So if we go over to here, that's a single channel image. It's in fact a grayscale image, but in Nuke it shows up as a red channel. It really doesn't matter. You can change channels around quite happily. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this file there. I'm going to throw it over into here and give it an alpha, and I'm also going to pre-multiply it. So to do that, we do, let's do it the other way around. Go to there and now shuffle copy, shuffle copy. So we just have both those. Let's just get them over into here where we can see them. And move this up here and move that over there. And now we can zoom in a little bit there. Okay, and hide that. Okay, so there's our shuffle copy. And the way it reads, we have two here, feed in number two there and feed in number one there. Okay, so feed in number one there, two there, okay. So two, we want the, let's say the green channel of that the way we read one of these fellas here, one of these shuffle copies, our output is down this, we look down these lines here, okay? So we're looking for our alpha now, and that's going to be our green. Our RGB is going to come from the other file, okay? So zoom out. Doesn't look any different, but if we go over to the A, whoa! Dude, uh, let's go to the 
there we go that was the red channel silly me okay yes so if we go over to the A we notice that it now has an alpha so let's drag this over here drag that to there move that over there and move our viewer to there ho ho well you'll notice that it is not working as a composite very well what we need to do is to pre-multiply the result bingo and that means that we you know, we can see this by previewing it we have darkened our background according to the uh, alpha channel if we just deactivate that you'll see the background there so masks mats alphas confusingly termed but they are all indeed separate things